think environmental education is important for today's children um, for several reasons. The most is probably because they're going to be, they are a future. They're going to be the stewards of, of the planet and um, it's our job to teach them so that they can protect it. Children are so disconnected from life, from the world around them, from their peers. It's really good to have the children come here so that they can immerse themselves in nature and disconnect from their technology and really, um, you know, put themselves out there, learn about nature, make new friends, and actually, you know, be in the moment. We try to offer a wide variety of programs, um, starting with the early um, natural wonders program for early explorers. Um, we've got a ton of K through 12 programming with our summer day camps. Um, about 10 weeks of those, ranging from wilderness survival to um, art themed to backyard habitats. You know, people that come here, um, I started working here in 2008 and from my experience, people that started coming here and especially with our early um, explorers program that we have, they continue straight up through all of their cams um, and they come to all of our family programs and evenings so they stick with us and come back year after year after year. Um, we've been working with about a dozen school districts um, in about five different counties over the last you know six to seven years. So school districts and, and families in general come from all over um, about an hour radius to um, engage in our programs. We're able to um, provide all of these programs at a really affordable rate for families uh, because we are heavily funded through educational improvement tax credits, um, donations from local businesses, and um, small grants, other grants. Our volunteers and our, our hired help, which, which is our ecology instructors and our camp counselors, are, are all vital to a successful program. We need somebody who not just has the knowledge, but has the um, enthusiasm to fill the role of those positions. They need to show the children um, how excited they are, and that gets the children excited. Um, we want to model our behaviors to them, uh, be enthusiastic, show them we can, we can be adult and have fun too. You're set free. So go ahead, three spaces. You come too. Yeah. Okay. During our summer camps, I want to say every day is my favorite, but um, a couple activities that jump out into my mind right away um, are when we investigate the stream in the pond with the nets and we catch frogs and crayfish and salamanders. Um, but I also really enjoy connecting to nature through art. So every day we have an, an art workshop. The kids love the water activities. Um, so going down to the stream, um, and searching, turning over rocks and, and netting in the pond. And we allow them to get right into it, you know, get their feet wet and, and get a little dirty. Um, it's okay, it's nature camp. They also really enjoy um, long hikes, you know, getting out there on our trails. We did have a live animal presentation um, for one of our camps. Um, actually, a couple of our camps joined in on in that too, and they really, um, you know, they had a, a blast seeing those mammals up close. We use an experiential teaching philosophy for our summer day camps. With an experiential approach, um, you not just do hands-on education, which is fantastic, but it takes it a step further and allows them to have some time to reflect, to do some nature journaling and make meaning of all of those experiences. You know, we hit them with a variety of different teaching methods and styles so that each of them you know, can learn and, and take something away from the program. We have 211 acres on this property. Um, we only moved in a year and a half ago, and um, so we didn't have a trail system then. We're, we're slowly but surely adding new trails. We also have um, a lot of other, you know, green initiatives on our property that we explore. It is a LEED Gold certified building. So we have alternative energies. We have a solar array system, um, wind turbine, um, we have a geothermal system, and as far as the construction of the building itself, you know, most of it was either recycled materials or harvested sustainably materials, um, and even with the site construction, we have a low impact, a low footprint. We use our building as an educational tool. These children, you know, we try to get them out there at a very young age because in doing so, we're fostering a relationship and a connection to those students. Um, essentially, when those children get older, they're going to be stewards of the land, which sustains our lives. So it's really important that we get them out there at a young age.